Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Hello, I'm Jessica Porter. Here is the latest from Denver 7. Drivers along I-70 got quite the surprise as they approached the Georgetown exit. Take a look. You can see a semi-truck on fire and a lot of smoke coming from that vehicle. Denver 7 viewer Tanner Broadness shared this video with us. CDOT did tell us at the time of the blaze there were delays. Right now we don't have any reports of injuries. You can always find traffic conditions by logging on to the DenverChannel.com or by downloading our Denver 7 app. Seven years ago today, 12 people were shot and killed and 70 others injured after a gunman opened fire in an Aurora Media movie theater. Dozens of people, including many police officers, came out for a memorial service last night at the 720 Foundation Reflection Garden. They took part in a candlelight vigil to pay their respects to those that were killed as well as those injured in the theater shooting. There were crosses put out to remember those who lost their lives. The Reflection Garden has become a special place to remember those lost. It's there to pay respects and help those who lost loved ones heal. And from the First Alert Weather Center, Stacey Donaldson has a look at your forecast. It's a First Alert Action Day thanks to strong thunderstorms moving across our area. A severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 11 o'clock. So we still have the threat for strong thunderstorms throughout the rest of this evening. And we'll have more thunderstorm activity tomorrow during the day as well. But highs only in the 80s. And that's after triple digit heat yesterday. So a big cool down thanks to a cold front moving through the state. But it's also causing this severe weather. Into next week, afternoon highs will be in the low 90s with partly cloudy skies on the way. Thank you, Stacy. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. And check back here later tonight for another update. And download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jessica Porter.